there's no sound on any of my videos. Good morning, guys. It's the weekend. I hope you're doing great. I have no sound on any of my videos that are recorded. I can't redo everything because it's already plumbed up. But I'll show you anyways. We'll see some clips. Let's get going. So let's go over everything uh, and what I did, and then I'll show you those clips of earlier in the week. This is the Bash C Smart Series 48-inch sump. I absolutely love this. I love the gray and blue. Uh, the blue trim through the bulkheads, the dosing holes, the baffles, it's phenomenal. I love the craftsmanship that they put into these things. I'm really glad that I get to set it up on this tank. I went ahead and got eShop's blue plumbing kit. Uh, it's one inch. I'll put a link in the description below of everything I'm using so you can, of course, check it out. So definitely do that. I couldn't find gray Schedule 40 PVC, so I just went ahead and bought white and then spray painted it. For the painting, I just sanded each piece to make sure the paint's gonna adhere really well to it and then did a couple of coats of the gray. And then for gluing, I just did a light sanding on each end, put some glue around the PVC and the fitting, put them together and did a little twist just to make sure I've got a glue all around that seal. I do have the crack fixed. I put JB Weld on, looks perfect for me. I love it, it's gonna be strong. I don't have to worry about it. The drain here, I just used a one inch PVC all the way down into the water. It's gonna be actually removed because I've got another piece of equipment that's showing up today. I'm gonna to be putting it in here and replumb it. I'm pretty sure I just heard the doorbell and that's probably it. I was right, I was right. It's the part I'm waiting for. We'll do that later, so you're gonna have to stick around to see that. I'll show a clip of doing the JB Weld on the sump. It was real simple. All we did is just a little light sanding on the crack just to make sure that that glue has something to adhere to a little bit more. And then I just ran a bead down the crack and around the baffle. What we have set up here is I'm gonna have it drain right to the skimmer section. I'm gonna put a skimmer in here, heater in here, and then we have the single wall baffle with an adjustable door so we can make sure that water height in this section is exactly what I need it for the skimmer. Then we're going into the refugium where I do have sand already, which means I've got sand up here to show you next week, the four different types laid out next to each other. We have another single wall baffle right here with an adjustable door on the back, which means I can adjust the water height in my refugium as well. That means if you want to make this to refugium and then this the skimmer section, you can. It comes with two different drain pipes for the outlet. One is standard, which is what I'm going to be using just to have this into the skimmer section. Or you can swap it out to this. Gets you a little bit slower flow while the water comes out these slits and a little hole in the bottom. And allows you to swap these out if you'd like to. But I'm going to just run it standard. It then goes to the back chamber. It has this black plastic. It's really coarse, really firm, but it's going to help with taking out any large bubbles, large particles, and then it'll also culture some bacteria in there to help you with more filtration. And then we'll go to the return pump section. On the return pump, since I do have sand right here, I actually went and got some Sepora filter pad. It comes in an 18 by 10 inch rectangle. You take it out, you cut it to size. It's actually doubled over, I already cut it. But I took a little square here and I put it right before the pump. That way if any sand somehow gets moved over, any small micro bubbles that come through that this material doesn't catch, that filter pad's gonna get it, make sure I protect my pump. We wanna make sure that we protect this pump. It's called the heartbeat of your system for a reason. We wanna make sure that it's not going down for any reason if we can. Each bass cheese sump is gonna have some dosing tube holders, some probe holders, and cord management holes. So it's gonna make this look really nice and clean when we get all our equipment in here. We'll go over the equipment in a future episode. I'll be working on that this next week as well. I wanted to at least get the return pump going so I could get the water moving between and get this tank cycling. That's it for me, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bells for the notifications so you get the most up-to-date info on this system as well as our other videos. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week.